Okay, before I get to the story, I'm just letting you guys know that one, I'm kind, of, I'm getting tired, but I'm not know what we're talking about. I'm not tired enough to want to go to bed. I'm just letting you know, either that or something in my eye or something like that. I mean, my eyes itching, and I don't have pink eye. So either I'm, so I'm thinking it getting tired or just sleeping eye if I haven't got out. Something like that. But anyways, this is a solo story telling because my mom, who is the the person who made the channel, says that she needs a break from recording tonight. So she's giving her a break from recording. But she better be listening. Because I don't want to have to go back and just tell her the story. I'm going to do that. But uh, on my own time after this video. Because. Okay. I'll get me a drink. I need a drink. If you hear a knock at the door soon or something, that's my dad just coming home. Well, hopefully. And that uh, it's not a number he talks to her sin. Hopefully, I have to say, but hopefully, if you hear a knock at the door, it's my dad coming home. And not another random knocking person. Because in our pre. in the ma. Mom's previous video before we had a random Here I am. Before. I'm just doing video editing in the other room. So he's yeah. telling the story by himself while I listen from the kitchen. The kitchen. In there. I'm in the living room. I figured I'd make an appearance that you can't <coughs> play style. You know you do that. You're making little computer rounds out. He realizes it. Yeah, like this. Like, she is on her phone. You see her? You see her in there on her phone. I know it's kind of hard with the camera. It's being a computer and the camera. There she is. There we go. But anyways, there I said I am in. Me is in the living room. Right behind me. My grandpa's NASCAR stuff. I have the key in my mind, but this is not our house. Technically, it's my grandparents. We're going to be moving soon. So be prepared soon to see uh, a newer, uh, what you going call scenery, a couple. Because we're not just going to be in one, mo mainly in one room when we do this together. We're going to go like, maybe be in the kitchen for like short little videos. Maybe be in the living room. And for longer, maybe the living room, mom's and dad, my mom and dad bedroom, my bedroom, who knows. But kitchen will probably be short videos if we don't get a kitchen table and comfy chairs. And we just have ball, bar stools. I almost said ball stools. But if we don't have, if we only have bar stools in the kitchen. Anyways, here is the story. This is another story in the 30s. So it takes. So it's like the other two. This is a sequel. Okay, so I put. Write me a. I put. Write me a. Sequel to the Dark 30s movie. To the Dark Batman movie in the 30s. The movie takes place in the 30s. No duh. And Batman meets Robin. The version of Robin is Dick Grayson. The villains are Two Face, Firefly, and the Penguin, Joker, and the movie introduces Harley Quinn. That's why I put, but it may not go that way. Here with the AI made. This is our chat GPT. Just letting you know. So I thank the people that make this, but I still technically made the concept for the story. The AI just made the story. Anyways, this is called title Batman Shadows and Alliances. 
opening shot. The camera pans over a dark and brooding Gotham City in the 30s. We hear the sound of pearly sirens. Wee woo, wee woo, wee woo. And the distant rumbling of thunder. Boom. Boom. Cut to the interior, interior of Wayne Manor, where Bruce Wayne sits alone in the study, brooding over a recent event. Suddenly, there is a knock at the door. Alfred enters and informs Bruce that a young orphan boy named Dick Grayson has arrived to the estate. Seeking refuge from the criminal underworld. Is this before or after his parents got shot? I'm thinking. I'm thinking before. I'm thinking after his parents got killed, not shot, but well, he could be shot still since Dick Grayson's parents died. Different ways from a uh, Trent P falling down to getting shot. In some comics, but I'm going to go to the front P. So after that incident, this is before or after. I'm saying after is what I'm saying right now. Cut to the interior of Gotham City Police Department, where Commissioner Gordon. Hang on. Okay, the one thing I hope is that since Joker and Harley Quinn are supposed to be in this story, is that Commissioner Gordon don't have a hard time. He has a hard time enough. Thanks to Joker. Anyways, we cut to the exter exterior of the Gotham City Police Department. Gotham City Police Department. Gotham City Police Department. I gotta keep my voice back to normal. Where Commissioner going and discussing the latest crime way with Detective Harvey Bullock. Suddenly, the bat signal illuminates the sky outside. And they both spring into action. Cut to the Batcave, where Bruce Wayne dons his iconic bat suit and sets out to, but says sets out into the night to take on the criminals of Gotham City. With the newly introduced Robin by his side, as the story unfolds, we see Batman and Robin teaming up to take down on some of Gotham's of notorious villains, including. Two Face, Firefly, and the Penguin. They also come face to face with the new and unstoppable villain, Unpredict Name, the Joker, who is wrecking havoc across the scene with the help of his new apprentice, Harley Quinn. <laughs> chaos. Okay, let's see what type of chaos they're doing. As the violence and chaos and Gotham. Exclite, exclite, Mama, come here. After the first word, after as the violent lens and chaos in Gotham. X what? I'm looking at X. 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 Escalate. I have to make sure sometimes I say my words correctly because uh, I have problems pronouncing the full sounds of words. And even though I took speech class, it didn't do shit. Sh it. T S H I T. Thank you. What do I win? Nothing. And also, I don't want to offend people. If I say the wrong word, when I try to say another word. But anyway, we got to escalate. Batman begins to realize that he can't fight this battle alone. He must learn to trust and rely on his allies. If he is to defeat the criminals and restore order to the city. The film reaches its climax as Batman and Robin face off against the Joker and Hardy Quinn in a final showdown that would determine the fate of Gotham City. They will also be able to trample over their enemies, or will the city fall into darkness once more? In the end, we see Batman and Robin standing together on the on a rooftop, glazing out over the city. 
They are sworn to protect. The camera zooms out to show a false drop of government city. A spy machine is filled with both light and shadow. As the credits roll, we hear the sound of rain beginning to fall. A reminder that the fight for justice is never over. I like how they added like a uh, response filled with both light and shadow since Two Face is one of the villains. So when I hear that, I imagine like half of Gotham City is light and the other half is like a shadow, basically. So like the light part, or you take it like this, like the light part is like Gotham doing daytime. And the shadow part when, well, nighttime Gotham. Which, uh, okay, if, like, I know Gotham was created and all, but, like, only, like, for some episode was taking place in the daytime. Most were at night. Which, I would love to see, like, a Batman or something running that shows only Gotham doing daytime. Mainly. And some of nighttime Gotham. And, like, midtime Gotham. So it's becoming dark out. That would be something cool. But anyways, that is the end of the story. Catch you all next time. Probably later tonight. Who knows?